This is probably the stupidest purchase I ever bought and I'm literally begging to break my leg. But it couldn't be that bad. Never mind. Electric skateboards, scooters, and even electric unicycle are getting so cool and good. Watching other people reviews, hearing all the great feedback of a one wheel, I knew I had to try and get one of those. Over the years, the electric transportation has improved massively. First, we have a Tesla, a Boost, a Cute, electric scooters, and now we have a one wheel. Are they good enough to justify the price of a one wheel? Looking at the trailer it seems so much fun, but are they really that fun to the point you would rather pick a one wheel over a car? You would rather pick a one wheel over an all inclusive holiday? Or you would rather pick a one wheel over hopping on the bus between Manchester to Chelsea 127 times? Like who would like to go to Chelsea anyway? The football teams are terrible. Sorry Chelsea fans. So this is day one of me using the one wheel. Never used it before. I felt very uncomfortable. Cool because I'm, I'm holding this expensive camera while doing this one wheel. I only felt once. I don't feel fully comfortable. Like, riding it so far but I did one hour today and I felt all right and I kind of felt like I want to do it again so right now is a sunset so I thought golden hour let's go for a ride it's probably the best time to do it after riding this giant thing I have realized it's not made to be pretty. It's literally made to be wrecked for sure. It got a few things I would say you must buy when you're buying one. You must buy one of these. This is a plug where you put your charger in. This is gonna be the protection. Not too sure why they don't supply you with one. I guess it's because they want you to buy more. I felt like you need one of these to protect it. Specifically if you live in UK where it rains a lot, you can ride this in the rain. You need to protect this. All the dust or everything is gonna get in there. If you can't charge it, you can't. Use it. The only thing you must buy is a funder. For that reason, Richard explained it in his video well better than me, so I will show that video instead. Riding without a fender just seems like a great way to send the rock to Barnes and Noble if you know what I'm saying. These two accessories come in incredible price of 75 pounds. 70 pounds the funder, five pounds the little plug. Yes, one of them costs five pounds. This is not a cheap hop. But this is day two of riding a one wheel. The first few days was the most challenging. I had the fear of falling and I felt like everyone was staring at me using the one wheel. Was I wrong? No. I get asked a loads of questions every day about the one wheel. However, this is not something I wanted. I wanted to get better so when people saw me riding the one wheel, I was so confident to the point even if they wanted me to fall, I won't fall. I had the fear of me falling the whole week until I fell in a public place. It wasn't a small fall like I had before. That was, was a hard fall. I pushed over the pushback, I got overconfident, and I ate the floor. To that fall, I hurt my leg pretty bad and my head. I kind of, when I rolled over and I hit my head, it gave me a bit of headaches and stuff like that. And that's, on day seven, that's when I realized I may need to wear a helmet. Not wearing a helmet right now. I know wearing a helmet looks stupid, and there's an extra thing to carry around, but, 
I had to order one because safety first. I no longer want to have the fear of falling. To fight that fear, I need to practice more. And what better way to practice while using the one wheel to commute to work every day? With the helmet, I'll be safer. Also, it will push me to go on the road I've never been. Obviously, use the one wheel around traffic. So it will push me to be more confident and hopefully I won't fall. I got comfortable when people start asking me about the one wheel. I even start giving business cards away. But that didn't stop me until I ran into the next challenge. And not a lot of people talk about it in the one wheel community. Not too sure why. Or maybe it's only me who have that problem. And this is what we call foot fatigue. My first couple of days, my feet hurt after being on the board for too long, but I may have fixed it. Today I've realized I actually got used to the foot fatigue. I can ride longer without having my feet to hurt anymore. Yes, you get used to it. And I saw this video of a guy saying the, the foot fatigue, you get used to it, specifically with the vans. And I tried it, I don't like wearing vans, but it work. As much as I don't like the wearing them shoes, it's kind of growing on me, but it's also, the foot fatigue is gone. I just ride two miles with the one wheel without stopping once and not even a pain. I didn't, I literally forgot. I literally just realized I didn't have any foot fatigue anymore. Yes, this is day 14. We made it to day 14. Yesterday, I actually ride by the beach. That was the first time I actually met someone using a one wheel too. I connected with that person pretty well. They talked about the experience and stuff like that. And they mentioned about the one wheel. App. I kind of realized I'm the only one around my area who ride the one wheel. I kind of asked him, I was like, have you ever met other people? Do you see other people use the one wheel often? You see people riding around the, the on the app. And I was like, oh, you got one wheel app. I generally got a few issues with the app. Maybe it's worth giving more reward, more achievement and stuff like that. But first they need to fix one thing. They got to fix the Bluetooth connection of the one wheel. A lot of the time I'm trying to connect the one wheel and I just need to launch the app for a few minutes. Then it will connect to the one wheel. I tried it on a different phone, it's not my phone. As on an iPhone, you can connect your headphones straight away, your AirPods, you connect it instantly playing music. But on the one wheel, it just takes a minute or two to connect then you'd be able to track your stuff. I didn't want to track for 30 days how much I've ridden my one wheel. But obviously because the first couple of weeks I didn't actually notice it was not recording, well, I missed quite a lot of days. According to my day streak at the moment, it's eight. It's a lot lower than it should be as I've been riding my one wheel every single day. It does have a feature called map, which is pretty cool. It tracks how much you ride, where you go, how much speed you go, how much like elevation, how much battery you got left. So you can share where your ride path. In my area, you got a few people who've ridden a one wheel around the area. If you go by the beach, you got loads of people who've ridden there and you can see how far that went, what type of one wheel. You can even request a friendship. It's like a social platform for people who use a one wheel. On day 23, I've run out of battery and I've realized how heavy this is. And it's totally my fault. I forgot to charge it all week and I was too lazy to actually get it under my bed charged up. This might be a small skateboard to you, but that skateboard weighs 27 pounds and carrying it is uncomfortable. The grip is all right, but it can be better, a bit more softer because after 10 minutes of carrying it, your hands are a bit achy. I used my belt to put around the one wheel. To be honest, that was probably the best decision ever made until it stopped working. To be honest, the best way to carry it is like a baby. This is day 30. This is not what you think until you try it. This is 10 times more fun than you think.
you know you all get excited after a new purchase but this after 30 days i'm still as excited as day one in fact i'm more excited i actually don't go the quickest way home i actually rather explore So we go literally exploring with the one wheel and then between riding it to work, exploring after work. This I literally spent so much time on there. I have so much more experience. I got over 200 miles ridden in 30 days. Between the way of riding it to work or exploring and visiting to places. This is like my way to really stress, help my mental health, and it's like the best thing in the world. This is where I spend the most fun out of my day. And to answer the biggest question of the whole video, is it worth it? The answer is yes. I'm actually thinking about buying my second car and I can guarantee you that even when I buy my second car I'll still be riding my one wheel to work or probably miss some like rainy day I kind of feel like the one wheel is part of my identity now is my way to commute anything I go to the shop I go to do go to the doctors I need to do something where I can genuinely take the one wheel and I will take it sometimes we've refused lift from people just because I wanted to ride the one wheel and if you do the maths the one wheel Yes, it's cheaper than running a car. I live about 20 minute walk away from my work. However, it takes me about six minutes in average to get to work with a one wheel. With a car, probably about four minutes. But then the car, you have to pay petrol, insurance and tax. The one wheel, I paid for the cost of just the one wheel. Probably upgrading to a GT over a holiday, a new brand new car, or even catching a bus wherever you would like to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the video. Any questions, leave in the comment section. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and check my Instagram. On Instagram, I posted it pretty much every single day, a video about my journey and pretty much things like that. So on that note, peace.